Day 6, Loch Ness to Aberdeen. We started day off with this oats. Then we set off the alarm again because we bought the kettle and this is when we realized it was the kettle. Then we made it down to the road. This is a two-way road but only one car can go at a time so you have to be very careful when driving here. Lucky we had someone in front of us. Make a U-turn. I can't. Woman. And this wouldn't be us if we didn't get lost. Then we listened to an hour comedy special. For one of our snacks we had this pickled onion chips. We tried this iron brew which looks very different in South Africa. Winter was enjoying the ride. The roads in Scotland is very windy, but at least you have amazing views. Back in these windy roads and you're listening to a horror podcast. I down the aisle and stood there for a hot second. I love looking at the different landscapes while driving. We drove three and a half hours and then we got to Aberdeen. Our accommodation was up three flights of stairs. Martin had to bring in all the luggage. This was our accommodation. Very beautiful, very comfortable bed. I missed that bed already. We had to share a bathroom, but luckily we never had to wait for anybody. Look at this amazing views outside our window. This is the bathroom I was talking about. We also had a fridge and a microwave to use and a kettle in our room. Unfortunately, there was no parking near accommodation, so we had to drive a few streets away and park there. You float too! Started raining, so Martin put on his poncho. So proud of that poncho. We decided to walk around a bit and then we made it to the town center. It was a nice walk, eventually the rain cleared up. The one thing I enjoy while walking around in the city is all the different buildings you get to see. We found a store that reminds us of Musica. It has DVDs, a whole lot of different kind of series and these action figures as well as different horror theme dolls. And then there's also my favorite, which is the Nightmare Before Christmas. I liked it before it was cool. I even got a Nightmare Before Christmas tattoo. And then I went to this not so clean toilet that had diamond award for its cleanliness, like Lou of the Year.